In my previous video, you learned how to change backgrounds with precision. And in this video, we are going to learn how to change character's clothing style by using InPaint inside the control net. If you have clicked on this video due to YouTube algorithm, welcome to the world of AI. The software I'm using is Automatic 1111 and if you are interested in using Stable Diffusion for free and with much more freedom, I will leave the link in the description. To proceed with the tutorial, you need to have ControlNet extension and if you don't know how to install an extension, I will leave the link to install ControlNet extension in the description below. So let's get started. The first step is to select an image. I have already selected my image. I have created this image with absolute reality model. You can use any image you want. Now enable the control net. Check the pixel perfect and low VRAM option. Low VRAM is used when your GPU is 4 GB or less than 4 GB. Now you can select your model as input model. You can either select input model from the drop down list or simply click on the inpaint button. It will automatically select the model for you. Now you will inpaint on the clothes of the character you want to change. I have inpainted on the shirt. And my first prompt is wearing a formal sky blue shirt. And it gave back image of a man wearing a formal sky blue shirt but without sleeves because I was not specific. The one tip is to be specific what you want with your clothes. My next prompt is wearing a full sleeves sky blue shirt. As it is evident from both these images that a precise prompt can really help with in painting. Now let's explore some real photo examples. After this example I am also going to show you a more accurate way to use control net in painting to change clothes, background etc. As you can see the stable diffusion did a pretty good job of in painting and it also took care of the skin color as well. Before moving to our next example, you need to enable multi control net models like this. If you only see one window, then you will have to go to settings, go to control net, and from this slider, multi control net slider, you have to enable as many as models you want. I have enabled three. You can enable up to 10 models here and just click on apply settings and you will see three models here let's look at the example now first let's look at the result where i've only used in paint model to use two models simultaneously all you have to do is enable the second model inside your control net tab Select the second model as control net Kenny. You can also select any other model that you would like to experiment with. And now just click on the generate button. Now let's look at the result I got. As you can see I got really accurate result by using Kenny and it also took care of the patterns that were there on the original image. So if you only want to change the color of the clothes this can be a nice option and in the second image you can see I just changed the red color but the patterns are same this is it for today's video I hope you find this video helpful if you did find it helpful please press the like button and also subscribe to the channel thank you for watching